weather on NBC 10 Boston, Boston's most accurate forecast. All right, I hope you got outside at some point today. It was absolutely gorgeous, Sydney. Yes. Unseasonably beautiful. Yes, and we're staying there. But this is seasonable. The fact that it's now getting dark right behind you. And it's I know. Just after six o'clock. Six o'clock. We're usually right. we usually have a big bright sun out there. I mean, the past few months at least for the six o'clock show, we had a big bright sun out there. But it's that time of year. Sunsets now before six o'clock. It's six eighteen. We're starting to see it getting darker over Boston right now and going through the evening. We are going to cool things off. Be ready with a sweater or even a jacket as you're heading out if you do have evening plans tonight. It's going to be staying clear though along the way and tomorrow by the time the sun comes up we're going to be jumping into the 60s by 11 o'clock so between 8 o'clock and 11 o'clock we'll have temperatures going from the upper 40s to the low 60s that's going to feel pretty nice out there sunset time today was 655 tomorrow 653 and then november 3rd when those clocks go back that sunset time will be at 434 so get ready of course it's going to get darker earlier and earlier as the next few days come you might forget what season we're in though these next few days. This high pressure is in control and is staying in control for much of next week. We're going through Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday with unseasonably warm temperatures in a in a good way. We can all get out there and enjoy it. And this high pressure will keep sunshine in the picture as well. Now, by the time Thursday rolls around, that's when a cold front has its sights set on New England and it is going to be bringing in cooler, more seasonable air into the picture uh, for Friday especially. So Thursday, still a bit on the warmer side, pretty close to where we should be for this time of year. Our next rain chances, though, aren't until we go into Thursday. So at times on Thursday, you could see some rain as this cold front does push overhead. It's a strong one. Stronger cold fronts tend to come with a little bit more rain. On the backside of it, though, higher elevations, New Hampshire and Vermont could get another dose of snow. That's after Jay Peak saw a lot of snow on the peak uh, last week after that cold front we saw last week. Now we've rebounded from that, but we have another one coming. We're seeing mainly dry Sunday through Wednesday, and then that shower chance, that's the best chance of rain that we're going to have for the next 10 days going through our day on Thursday. So temperatures tomorrow, Monday, Tuesday, we're in the low 70s. That's after today we were in the upper 60s and low to middle 70s out and about. Tomorrow, 71 degrees by the afternoon with sunshine around 73 uh, for Boston for highs, middle 70s as we go towards uh, locations a little bit more to the west. So the greater Boston area could make it to 80s by the time we go into Monday. That is definitely unseasonably warm air that's in the picture. Likely the last swing at the 80s that we're going to see on this 10-day forecast. Boston looking at 76 for Monday before cooler air comes in by the end of the week. And next weekend is looking much more seasonable.